about you two? NQT Siobhan Croker is worried about treating students fairly, but she takes over 10 minutes to resolve minor disputes like this one. So what's the best way for teachers to manage the issue of fairness? Right, can we, can we put all that behind us and can we carry on and get some work done? All right. She's not leaving. I do think it's really important, the whole fairness issue um, with them, particularly in a situation like that, where you didn't, I didn't know what had happened and I didn't want to um, single out one student um, because I can't, but I needed to know what happened. I needed to get to the bottom of it and I didn't want to uh, punish anybody um, without knowing what had happened. Sometimes there'll be issues of fairness and we've got to pay attention to it, but sometimes... You and I have got to admit that for teenagers, yeah. saying something isn't fair is a piece of manipulation. There's so much potential in this group. Don't waste your time. Now, I want you to listen really carefully to your language. Right, can we... Can we put all that behind us and can we carry on and get some work done? If you need to talk to me about what happened, you can talk to me, all right? OK? All right. If you want to talk to me, you can talk to me in a moment, all right? OK, what are you hearing? Um, I'm asking a lot of questions. I've had uh, maybe three questions, um, and I, 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 in my head, I'm not asking them. I'm, I'm saying to them, you, this is what's going to happen next. But it sounds to them as if it's a question, can we put this behind us? Right, OK. Siobhan's next move is to talk to one of the girls involved okay. individually. Right, I think I'm going to need, we're going to need to talk to, I'm going to need to talk to a form tutor about this, OK? Because I think, I think, all right, I think we need to move you into another group. I'm hearing a lot of, I think I'm going to suggest that. Um, uh, I'm language. going to ask you to, OK, all right, all right. We just need the language stripped mm -hmm. down. What don't you think's fair? The fact that I have to move any day, nothing has to happen to me. I'm going to speak to him. I haven't That's spoken nothing. to him yet. Yeah, but it's just so, it's, I find it sometimes it's quite tricky. Just when you're in, you're trying to keep your eye on 30 other children, well, the 27 children in there, you're trying to keep your eye on all the other children and, and deal with what they have and to treat them fairly. And if you waste too much time, the rest of the class are going to possibly go get off task. Lying behind all this, there's a big issue. You just said, and I heard you saying to some of the children in the room, you want to be fair to them. Yes. This is obviously a big trigger for you. With this in mind, let's try and spot moments when you could have closed it down. All right, OK. Speak to him. Do you remember we talked about last night working in a group, OK? All right? I'm going to speak to your form tutor about this and about what's going on with you as a group, OK? With you, what's happened today, all right? There's quite a lot of occasions where I could have shut it down, I think. The standard kind of rules about uh, basic assertive language is you break it down into three parts. You receive what's being said to you, you give the positive direction, and then you give an acknowledgement that asks for further compliance. Okay. So you might say to me, um, it's not fair. Go on, have a go. Let's do some role play. <sighs> it's not fair. Yeah. I understand what you're saying. Now we need to make progress, and I need to see you and Chris working together. Thank you very much. And what we don't do is put conditionals in or ask questions. Um, I wonder if we can put this uh, behind us. Do you think it's OK if...? Right, come here. Yes. All of you. Siobhan then returned to speak to the rest of the group again. Right, stop. What happened? What happened? We were doing that scene and she were like that. It was an accident. It was an accident. No, what? It wasn't an accident. It was How do you know when you hit her body? Just tell me uh, to get up and move my seat and go and sit somewhere else uh, in your dominant, assertive leader voice, please. Could you stand up, John, and sit over there? Could I? John, stand up and sit over there. I don't want to. John, stand up and sit over there. Whoa, OK, good. I'm getting frightened of you now. <laughs> There's a bit of impact there. Let me tell you something. The fairest thing yeah. is that all the children in a room can work in an uninterrupted way and they all get the teacher's attention. That's true. You've got apparatus for being fair after the lesson. Right. And you're prepared to give me a limited time to hear my complaint. But it's not fair 
to listen to everybody's complaint in a lesson. Uh, mm -hmm. Your fairness exists in your total relationship with them and, and the procedures that you follow outside the lesson. But the fairest thing is to keep the lesson going. Mm -hmm.